I got a rope. I do know that there's an open window in this direction. What if... this though Well, obviously I did something right, but I don't know what I'm going to do now. Well, okay, well I'm doing something right, so... Maybe I can make the crack rider? get to it. Yep, that's what it was. I wasn't looking carefully. I carefully pondered the situation and thought what I was about to do. Why was I obsessed with this room, or whatever occurred inside the room of the house, for that matter? I felt a strange urge to go over there, even though I was about to risk my life. Yeah, well, why don't you do it on another day, huh? I decided to climb down through the window. It was the only way to get inside the mysterious room and resolve it. It was indeed. Looks like a crib, a baby's room. Empty cradle inside such a dirty, neglected room made me feel very sad. Yeah, me too. This is freaky. seem to be smiling at me. And there's the chair. Okay. Certificate, 1961, 9th day of August, Blackwood, and the child's first name is blacked out, Mother's Catherine, hmm, well, testimony whereof I have of North 
Umberland, England. Hereby subscribe to my res affidavit on the mail of the officer. Okay, whatever. Not important. Uh. Either way, some guy named Assistant Register General, and I can't read the name. I wondered if this member of the family was still around the town, or would perhaps be able to shed some light upon the past history of the house. I had to find some way of getting in touch with him. Honestly, considering that this place is locked up, wouldn't you think he's dead? Or she, or he, or whatever? I mean, to me, I would say this person's dead. The angel was supposedly guarding the room, but it didn't feel like me any safer. Yeah, no kidding. It seemed as if someone took extreme measures to forget about the existence of the room for some reason. Mr. Blackwood? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see anything more in here, so I guess let's get out of here. Unless there's something I'm forgetting. Well, it would have been nice. Well, I'm back. Now what? have a date, so... Newspapers? I looked for everything worthwhile news in the editions of May 1963, checked if there was anything of interest back in August 1961. Mm. The Journal. Terrible news shocks the community of Rothbury. Mr. James Blackwood... Wait, this is the same thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's look at the other one. The Journal, Northumberland Daily Newspaper, Wednesday, 10th of August, 1961. Sad news hits our beloved town today following an announcement that was received with rejoicing amongst many that one of the most illustrious members of our community, Mr. James Blackwood, was having a child soon. We now have to relate a macabre turn of events. The son that was being lovingly wa awaited by the Blackwood family died shortly after delivery due to a strange ailment. Told you he was dead. Understandingly, the information disclosed about this happening was succinct. It appears that Mrs. Catherine Blackwood was already suffering from pains in her stomach, probably an indication that there was something not healthy about her pregnancy. Dr. Christopher Milton, who attended the birth, assured us that he made every possible effort to ensure the safety, safe delivery, but with a bowed head. 
He said that the boy was already doomed ever since his conception. The cause of his death has not been stated, but those few close to the Blackwood family have said that there were serious complications during the delivery. Helping the to relieve the black the somber news, Mrs. Blackwood was thankfully found out to be out of danger. Her husband did not wish to comment about the event. Tour of Central Europe at the meeting of the okay a successful ruse. Supped J. Keegan while driving his motor car was held up by eight armed masked men. Leader of the blank. Okay. Well that explains the photo right here. My huge disappointment quickly gave way to an empty void feeling. Something wasn't right here. I began wondering if James Blackwood was somehow involved with the death of his son. Well, considering the insanity of everything in this house, I don't know. Now what do I do? Either way, uh, this part has gone a bit too long. I'm going to split it here. See you guys next part.